Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today's question was suggested by a viewer. Thanks to Vincent and Antoine Saucy for this one. Amy wins game one of their match, and Nick wins game two. During game three, Amy is at one life, and Nick is at two life, and Amy plays a flame rift. What happens? Okay, so when flame rift resolves, it's going to deal four damage to each player. That's going to take each player's life total to zero or less, which means that each player is going to lose the game. Because both players lost the game at the same time, that means that the game is going to be considered a draw. Sometimes in situations like this, people will think that because one player's life total was higher than the others, then that would mean that that person would win. But no, it's just a draw. Nothing super exciting there. So the really interesting stuff is going to be what's going to happen next. And what is going to happen? I mean, we just drew in game three of our match. And so this is where we come up with another kind of common misconception that people have. You see, matches in Magic are not played best of three. They're actually played first to two. What's the difference? Well, it's cases like this one here. Because neither player has won two games in the match yet, that means that the match is going to keep going, and Amy and Nick are going to shuffle up and play a game four. If they draw that one, then they're going to play a game five, and if they draw that, they can play a game six. I think it's pretty cool to think that there's hypothetically no limit to the number of games that you could play in a match. Well, you know, other than the time limit, of course. So, with that being said, there's one more loose end that we need to tie up here, and that is, who's going first in game four? For the answer to that one, we're going to have to take a look at this rule in the MTR. As you can see, when the players draw a game, then the person who chose whether to go first or second in the drawn game is this person who will make that choice during the next game that they play. So, in our problem statement that we had before, Amy won game one and Nick won game two, which means that Amy would be the person who would have chose whether to play or draw in game three. Because of that, she'll be the person who makes that choice in game four. I think this is pretty awesome. It doesn't come up very often, but it's definitely a good one to know. And now you'll know what to do if this comes up in a tournament you're playing in. But that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again tomorrow for another daily ruling, but until then, I hope you have a great day.